Our next guest was the last mathlete standing when he outcalculated 224 competitors to win the 2017 Raytheon Math Counts National Championship. Please welcome Luke Robitaille. Hi. Hi. How are you? How are you, buddy? How are you? Nice to see you, pal. Congratulations. Hi. It's amazing. Um, so you are in seventh grade? Yes. Wow, congratulations to Thank you. you. And you're in, uh, you're from Euless, Texas? Yes. Yeah. All right, now, now, we have his reaction when he won. That oh is the God. winning moment right there. Congratulations. Were you really shocked? Yes, like I sort of had figured that the answer was wrong when I said it, but then the announcer said it was right, so I was really surprised. Okay, here's here's what I want you to know. I, I got very, I'm sick and tired of of teenagers coming in here and showing us what's up. So during the commercial break, I found a math teacher in the audience. Okay. Yes. Yes. Come on in. Hi, what's your name? Riley. 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 Hi, Cooper. I'm Ryan. Nice Hi, to Mr. see you. Cooper. You're Mr. Cooper. I am. We're hanging I, with Mr. For, Cooper. <laughs> Here's how the math challenge works. Tony Pig will read the questions. Once the question is complete, we can ring the bell we have right here with the answer. The team with the most correct answers wins. Here's question number one. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. On average, Kelly makes 20 deliveries for a restaurant at a six-hour shift. What's the minimum number of people each making deliveries at the same rate as Kelly needed to make 20 deliveries for the restaurant per hour? Well, what is it? Are you? Oh, it's, uh, I, I thought really, you had it. No, I, well, I don't know. Cooper! <laughs> Cooper! Okay, wait, we have it. We have it. I think we have it. Six? We say six. Is it six, Tony? That's right. The answer is six people. Right there. Okay, Cooper. here's question number two. Okay, yeah. Time out, time out, time what? out. What? Kelly's calling a time out. Since when do I deliver things? <laughs> Ryan's six identical cupcakes are distributed to two friends. If each friend gets at least one cupcake, how many possible outcomes are there? We know it. Five. There's five. Five. That is correct. Yep. Five yep. outcomes. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Uh, are we sure that Mr. Cooper is really a math teacher? I'm not sure. <laughs> It's unclear. Mr. Cooper, it's unclear. feel free to write something down or ring the bell. Question number three. Kelly ate 100 raisins in five days. That would never On each happen. day, she ate six more than the, on the previous day. How many raisins did she eat on the fifth day? Uh, we know it again. 32. 32 raisins. 32 is the right answer. Oh, on fire. Nice job. Question number four. All right, let's go. Ryan's go. figure shows an office out. floor plan. You can't keep it out. Out of time out. She has out of timeout. Miss, Mr. Cooper, you're playing this game, right? I'm, I'm in awe. Okay. I'm in awe. Okay. So I know the answer. Okay. okay. Ryan's figure shows an office floor plan. How many square feet does this office occupy? We know it. One more time. 87. I don't, 87, 87 square feet is correct. Wow. How about it? Question right. number five. Yeah, fast. Let's switch it. All right, go ahead. You take it. Switching. Okay, okay, switching. All right. We're going to get you. Kelly's stalk of corn is 32 inches tall. It grows by 25% of its height each month for the next two months. What's the height of the stalk in inches at the end of the two month period? Cooper. 50. 50, 50 inches is correct. Oh, yeah. It's a lot of good. It's a lot of pressure. No, we didn't get it. He got it. Question number six. In the figure, each circle is a vertex of one or more triangles. The circles marked B and R are colored blue and red, respectively. <laughs> if each of the remaining circles is to be colored red, blue, or yellow, so that no triangle has two vertices oh, wow. of the same color, what's attention. the color of the circle marked with? My guy gave up. <laughs> red. Red is correct. <laughs> Question number seven. Wow. Kelly's hexagonal table that is by itself seats six people, one person at each side. A row of the hexagonal table is created by pushing together a certain number of hexagonal tables so that each side of one table meets a side of the next table in the way shown here. If 50 people can sit at the row of tables that was created, how many tables are in the row? We got it! We got it! Let's try 12. 12 is right! Yes! Here's the next question. It's the last question, question number eight. 
Ryan has a square sheet of paper Thank with 10 inch sides. Thanks for waking uh, up, Mr. Cooper. <laughs> along each side, he makes a mark two inches from each corner. He then draws a line segment connecting the two marks near each corner. Finally, he cuts along each line segment, removing a triangle from each corner of the square and creating an octagon. What percentage of the area of the square is the area of the octagon? Oh, 92. 92% is correct. Magic. What in the world? You guys, <laughs> Kelly and Luke are the winners. Yeah. Come on, Cooper. Congratulations, pal. There you go.